Earlier, I visited Italy to discover why risotto rice is so pricey. 750 euro per ton. OK, yeah. good. That's a deal. Rice sold. Now I want to know if the extra cost is worth it. So I'm paying a visit to my old friend, Gennaro Contaldo. Ah, hi, you are. Here we are. Good to see you. How are you? Fantastic. And nice to see you. Now, Fantastic. you are the king Damn, when it comes to making risottos. Yes. Right? It's the, it's the very first thing you ever made me. So, can you make me a risotto using long grain rice? I never made one for long, long, long grain rice, but I can always try. Let's go. Come Let's on. Go. Gennaro's been cooking risotto since before I was born. If anyone can pull this off, he can. So, what you do, you make risotto now yeah. with a proper rice. Yeah. I will make risotto with long grain rice. I bet yours is still better. I don't know. <laughs> Aside from the rice, we'll both be using the same ingredients. Any tips, Gennaro? Never wash the rice, because it's losing all the starches. Never, never wash. Because if there is a little starch inside it, I want it to be inside right. the pot. So first step, don't wash it. Don't wash it at all. So the key difference is that risotto rice has a higher starch content. And it's the starch that's crucial for the perfect creamy consistency. OK, here we now go. you put about half a glass of wine inside. Straight away, you can see with the risotto Look rice, it. it's releasing the starch. That's good. You can see the creaminess here. Yours hasn't really done anything. Can you see it? Look. Yeah, it's totally separate from the sauce. You see, the sauce disappeared. Goodbye. Arrivederci, Roma. To translate, the long grain rice hasn't released much starch, leaving Gennaro's risotto watery. I really <laughs> try. I don't know what to do. Yeah, it's like an impossible task. See, mine is ready. It's creamy. And look, mine. Oh, I don't know. Let's serve them up. Let's serve them up. Let's see. Taste it. Okay. Let's do it. Go. Let's have a look at the risotto rice. Look at that. This has done exactly what you said it would do. It sucked up that moisture and it's made that creamy texture. Mm. Yeah, that is delicious. The rice and the sauce have got married. They're, they're living together. They're living together. And this is what is about the risotto rice. Right. Well, that's the risotto rice. Now, the long grain rice, the rice seems to be freer, doesn't it? It doesn't seem to have that consistency. Yeah, but you can see, you can actually count to the grain of the rice on this one. So it doesn't look the same, but does it taste the same? No. <laughs> that tastes like someone's made a mushroomy, winey sauce and then got a lot of cooked rice and poured it in. This is, this is it. This is what's happened. Long grain rice may be cheaper, but it's no good for risotto. It doesn't release enough starch for a creamy consistency and it's not very good at absorbing flavour. So it doesn't matter how much Italian magic you, as a supreme chef, put into it, you're never going to make a risotto out of long grain rice. No way. 